Hello and welcome to Floyd Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Hobby Masters 172nd scale UK Bedford refueler truck. Now the reason I say 72nd with quite a thing, we've seen things like this in 76th scale, which is like double O scale uh, for sort of railways and trains. But actually this is actually a 72nd version one of what was a die cast kit but it's actually been redone now uh, and done it in a plastic form with as we can tell by the way there is something still quite metally in here anyway here we go so what we've got down here nice little bit of box art on the front quite simple in its design and all the rest of it so it does contain a die cast chassis and cabin as we'll see in a moment so it's a little bit mixed media uh, as you can see we've got some information running around the outside so your kit number for this one is hmk101 Okay, we've got a little bit of the actual box art down on there like that. And then in the box itself, there we go. You can see we've got a nice little box full of gear down in here. So we've got some wheels and it's all separate bag, which is a nice touch. We've got some cabin interior down in there. We've got some screws and some axles. Again, nice little touch. We've also got some various small parts, very small parts down in there. Tyres. And then we've obviously got the actual fuel tank itself, which is one piece, which is a nice touch. We've then got a clear part for the cabin, for the glass work in there. We've got a big old sprue just down in here. Okay, and then we've got some decals. And then we've got, and they are attached, so I'm going to have to quickly pull these off. Because again, nice little touch, because these are hooked on. These are metal. So this is, yeah, nice. Okay, and we've also got a cabin just around here. And it's actually nice that they've taken the time to screw them to the, or staple them to the edge to stop the weight of these falling around and going through. So, as you can see, not a slouch of a kit. Plenty going on inside here. So, we've got the instructions, which are quite basic by the looks of it. So, as you can see, we can see it's actually the refueler, 4x4 type things. Okay. Very nice actually, it's the first time I've actually seen in this to be honest, if you haven't guessed. So we've got obviously parts call out down in there, we've actually got the colour call outs in Humbrol or just sort of standard, alright. And then we've got the assembly, so it's talking here obviously about the windscreen being fitted. You're probably going to paint this all separately rather than putting this in too early, but you know, we'll see how this can go together with the underside coming up. Okay, we've got the metal obviously front cabin area and all the actual parts being fitted onto that like lights wing mirror little bumper things like that then we've got the interiors so we have got a decal in here for the instrument panel as well which is a really nice touch in the cabin and we've also got the instrument panel being fitted down there into the seats next we move on to the actual fuel tank itself so you see plenty of detail being fitted down onto here of getting the actual fuel tank done we've got some of the hose lines off of the top things like that being fitted as we can see the rear section as well going down there we've got the refueling arms being there fitted out there so they can swing out to the actual aircraft then we've got the chassis underneath so it's metal as we were saying it is die cast so we've got hubs and wheels being fitted down onto here then we've got the fuel tank for the uh, the actual lorry itself obviously being fitted underneath okay and then in case it's marrying this up and that's what we were saying you'd probably put this on afterwards let's face it the clear parts are going to go in afterwards then you can put it all together once it's all been painted which is fair enough and then it's just a case of bringing it together and then very much like die cast as we can see you're going to be screwing it all together which is quite a cool touch um, decal markings you see there's not much to it it's just a couple of little uh, with the RAF markings and the vehicle identifications being fitted down on there or we've got another one down in here version with it as well uh, with it being fitted uh, out there with the avatar markings as well but well, we've got another one as we've seen which is the box art one which is the yellow top uh, with the actual blue sides as well so you've got a couple of different versions of it down in there considering it's small this is not what i expected whatsoever i don't know where to start i'll tell you what let's just jump straight in because this is really really nice okay so let's just pop right in here and start with the actual uh cabin we're gonna need a close camera for this aren't we okay so as we can see that is beautiful and it is metal so again that is fantastic die casting beautiful texture to it it's almost like it's been powder coated really very very nice indeed again a lot of the times we look at these things and it's like there's compromises here there and everywhere but actually that's really very very nicely done indeed we like that so obviously the clear part will be fitting up in there really very nice okay so that's that then we'll have a look at the chassis because it's right here and we can do all the metal bits in one 
Okay, so again, underside of the chassis, although you've got the location areas obviously for the screws, which you would need, the rest of it's beautifully detailed. So we've got the exhaust running down in here as well. We've got obviously the axles are going to come across and fill these voids each side. Relief springs look absolutely fantastic in there. Really very nice. Oh, sorry, leaf springs. I always get pulled up on that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, really very, very good on there like that I like that a lot so down in here we do it whilst we're on the close-up we've got the screws so obviously we've got screws and obviously we've got the um, axles as it would be right the way across which they will be a push fit because they are tapered at the ends okay so again you get a little bag of screws to be honest the decals are not a lot of point pulling these out because you can see them here okay really very nice with your options on there okay right so then that's just jump in so let's do the big one first Out of the bag. Why is my out of the bag? Come on. Okay. The bags everywhere here. Okay, so this is a sprue. It doesn't have a number. Uh, it's a sprue. Okay, if we just jump straight in, I think, to the close up. As soon as we can see, these are these refueling arms going across. No problem at all. We've got the fuel tanks. We've got the back end of the actual fueler. Or is it the front? Or whatever. Front, I think. Okay. We've got the bits on the sides. We've got the hosing off of the top, We've got the rear end as you can see down in there. We've got these areas off the back here. All good, clean, crisp. The sprues are quite big and chunky, but actually the parts are very delicately done. And you can probably see as well, the actual attachment points are quite fine. Very, very fine. They're not big chunky attachment points on the small parts. We were talking about this the other day. They're actually quite nicely done on this one. And again, even on the blind side, doesn't look too bad at all on this, as you can see good clean sort of molding on these ones and again this was taken from a die cast one I do believe so okay let's just jump in the car again cabin area look at that beautifully done really very very nice again nice details right the way through We've got a little bit of flash running around all this but it's not on the parts which is very nice to see indeed and again very nice Okay, and um, it's one of these things, where do you go, where do you start? Okay, we've got the wheels, and again, there's not much to see on here. And so you've got the outer hubs of the inner, things like that. We're going to be a push fit and drive them in, which would be absolutely fine. Tap with a hammer job, I should imagine. Just to bolt those home. No problems at all with those. Okay, then we've got the tiniest little bits on here and again you've got the steering wheel look at the detail on that fantastic all the tiny small parts we were saying we've got the little bumper off the front we've got the wing mirrors okay we've actually got the gear shift and the various bits in here very very nice very cool headlights that's what all that's about beautifully done again when you look at the sprue and you see it like that it looks like it's a bit messy but actually all the parts are extremely clean right the way down to this little guy number what is that 42 number five sorry that I don't know what it is but it's tiny absolutely mind you beautifully done very very nicely done okay so we've got the fuel tank itself again it's one piece it's solid in the middle very nicely done as well but again Beautiful detail with the actual refueling point on the top. It's got some nice details around in there with the bolts and everything else. Really very, very nice. There's the faintest of seam down in here, which I don't even think you need to do anything with, but if you did do, a couple of swipes with a sander and a polisher, that's good, good to go. Even on the underside, there's not much going on there. The ejector pins are very, very faint. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so we've got the tires. It's amazing how much we've got in such a small kit. So as we can see here on the tyres, they all look very nice indeed. Again, great tread pattern. Hopefully the camera can see how good that is. Beautiful, very, very sharp. Highly impressed with this. Okay, last up we've got the clear part for the cabin. I don't know how clear this will be, but judging by the rest of it, it's all pretty good this. Okay, so... All right, it's not crystal, crystal clear, but it's not far off it. Got a tiny little tab at the end. It's perfectly acceptable, especially in this scale. So once that's in here, 
it would look absolutely fantastic. I don't think you have any problem with that. I've got a fingerprint on it now. Look at that. Very, very nice indeed. But if you do it on one, you can see there's hardly any distortion down in there. That's actually pretty good indeed. I tell you what, I'm absolutely blown away. The detail on something, you think like centisecond, you know, it, it's tiny, very, very small. And again, because this has got a die cast background, originally it was die cast and that's been made obviously into a mixed media one as well. I think it's actually transferred beautifully well. The way that you've actually got the weight of it as well would be beautiful. It'd be very, very nice indeed. But having the, the, this, the way that this has been done, considering it's an older kit as well, I think the original of it, that is just bang on, absolutely fantastic. The grill is beautifully done. And obviously it's all in metal, so a little bit of mixed media. And even the tires, the detailing the tires is absolutely spot on, absolutely fantastic. As you can tell, I'm blown away. It's the first time I've actually looked in this box and it's very rare I get little bit sort of starstruck by a kit, especially when it's a small, but it is a beautiful little kit. Definitely a must from me. So there we go, that is the Hobbymaster 172nd Bedford refueler truck.